This is a key part in the chain of misadventures leading to HRT failure. There seems to be a lack of comprehension in the current approach that testosterone can in fact become estrogen. So let's go back to this scenario we were talking about here. You have some temporary estrogen dominance where this is estrogen and this is progesterone, okay? You have a bit of inflammation perhaps, so your estrogen level is now here and you've suddenly been hitting the gym hard, starving yourself, your sleep's disrupted and you're doing some intermittent fasting. So this has raised your cortisol and suppressed progesterone. So your new progesterone level is here. And you can see that what was here is now here. You have a much more pronounced estrogen dominance and with that, a greater level of fatigue. So you go to your primary care practitioner who says, I know what's missing, testosterone. Just put in some testosterone, that'll make you feel great. You'll find your libido. You're full of hope, understandably, because finally somebody is giving you a solution to this miserable whirlpool of symptoms. So you throw in testosterone. Unfortunately, because of all this inflammation and stress, it activates the pathway called CYP19, which is aromatization. So most of that testosterone is now converted into estrogen and the problem just gets worse. I have lost count of the number of calls I've taken in the last month alone where people have said to me, wow, my doctor finally agreed to give me some testosterone. I took it and for about eight days I felt great. My libido came back. Me and my partner enjoyed some intimacy. I thought this is finally it. And then suddenly, without changing a single thing, I put on 10 pounds. This is why. And you think, well, hang on, how can I possibly get the benefits of testosterone? I'm about to explain all of this in a blow by blow how to blueprint for you. So you can see very clearly that all of these things combined means that HRT is much less likely to work for you than to work for you unless you're addressing it.